David, so we've worked with you for many years. You're a very experienced IT and digital leader. And you've recently written, written a book saying that, that people need to be at the center of transformation. Can you talk about that a little more? Yeah, thanks, Jim, and it's great to be back with you again. Uh, my book's called Digital is Everybody, Everybody's Business. And the book is really about looking at how work's undertaken within organizations today and the role of people within that organization prior to thinking about digitization. And the book was written because I thought there was a bit of a gap in the market. There was a lot of analysis on industry yep. and lots of thinking about technology, but not necessarily how you could transition from a traditional enterprise through to a digital one. Okay. And the book has five key phases, is that right? Can yeah, that's right, Jim. It has five key phases. Uh, it begins with your mindset and actually being open to learning. A lot of the leaders that are actually leading our organisations today commence their careers pre-internet. And in actual fact, the world is rapidly changing, as we know, and we need to continue to be open to learn. And then talking about technology and just getting transparency on what your technology team is doing and the choices and potential compromises they need to make. Yeah. Then we move through to being more relevant, how you actually enable and manage risk within your organisation and accepting risk. And we finally conclude on two key sections, one of them around innovation, quite tactical in nature in some parts, yeah. And then what is the big dream for your organisation and how strategic that needs to be? Yep. And finally, just on digital, and it concludes on a really interesting model which looks at where you are in the market, what season you're at, yep. looking at how you differentiate, and the ways that we used to differentiate in the past have changed. Yep. How do you create an environment that enables your customers to be sticky to you, or actually um, it creates barriers to entry? And then finally looking at uh, how you continue to actually enable scale to your customers, for initially providing content and transactions. That's pretty comprehensive. Yeah. That's end to end. And obviously that's drawing on uh, years of board level interactions as well as C-suite. Uh, everyone's talking about disruption, but obviously not everything's going to be disrupted. Uh, is there a position what, what on that? What I find really interesting, Jim, is if you look at some of the analysis and we look at some of the transfer, transformation statistics by some really big companies, 15% of transformations actually succeed. And then if you look at digital transformations, McKinsey has a number that less than 10% actually yeah. sustained. Further, you look at the MIT research that looks at only 39% of board members can recall actually having a conversation about digital, yeah. yet one in three dollars boards believe will be disrupted by digital. And yeah. I think within many traditional enterprises, they're trying to create this startup mentality or this agile mentality and not considering the type of organization they are. And by creating those precincts and asking their employees to enter those precincts, those employees probably wouldn't be part of a startup and probably yeah. aren't ready to be part of a startup. And my cha I challenge the notion around transformations and startup precincts actually should enter just a period of transitions. Yeah. And after any large transformation in an organization, it's a little bit like a marathon. I was going to say this, so there's a, there, there's a difference between transition and transformation. There is a big difference. And for me, uh, transformation is something that you train for, you run really hard at, and then you have this major go live event yeah. or major go live thing. And then people suddenly, suddenly take back and, and relax and go back to their day job. But I think organizations need to be in a constant state of transition. Yeah and building, building shifts and building sprints as they transition. And they make transformation this big thing when we've all been dealing with change forever and it's far better just to have incremental and then take people on the journey. Otherwise, yeah. everyone prepares for transformation and then what, it's done? Yeah. Well, it's still going to be done, right? Yeah, and I also think the other, the other piece around this, and we referenced that at the beginning of the book, is your mindset. And we need to think about how we reward employees. In the past, yeah. we've rewarded employees who doing a lot of work, attracting themselves to work, and that was part of them maintaining their employability, a little bit of security within an organisation, but in actual fact, what we need to consider is the value of that work, and how can they make a more valuable contribution, not necessarily the volume that they're doing. Yeah. So we had a presenter, uh, Christine Derry from MIT yesterday, a huge amount of work which we're focused on as well at ADAPT in terms of looking at the employee experience and every transformation doesn't take into account the pressure and the road bumps you're causing your internal staff and systems. And I think you worked in workplace as well. So, yeah, uh, I mean, do, how, how important do you see employee experience and do you see organizations understanding that? They're all focused on customer experience without realizing EX creates CX, right? Yeah. 
I, I think there's a little bit of confusion between organisations and looking at how they digitise internal processes mm -hmm. and that being a substitute for their digital strategy. It's not. It's a yeah. great thing to do, but it's not. And I also think around the employee experience, it is part of the larger transition. Yeah. It's not separate to, and you actually need to integrate these things together. Yeah, yeah. Well, working digital, working on digital, digitization, they're all quite different things, eh? David, thanks for coming in today. Pleasure, Hope you have Jim. a good event. Cheers. Thank you.